Ultimate Long Drive opening team competition was a good one, seen live, but you can still watch it. Traveling Golfer also has another show called At the Turn, where we taste the food and drink at four golf courses along the Myrtle Beach Golf Trail. Also, in Shalot, Smoked is celebrating one year, and we hit a Brazilian happy hour on Undercover Jet Setter in North Myrtle Beach. This is the Carolina Buzz Daily Digest brought to you by Wingding TV. We imagine, create, and distribute your message through video, audio, and cutting edge digital marketing. Go to wingding.tv to learn more. Now, we had a chance to be at the live Ultimate Long Drive opening team event in late April. It was a virtual event with the black versus the red team. Now, how about these numbers? The longest drive is 392 yards. The number of viewers was 245,000. Don't worry if you missed the live show. Wingding has edited down the tense down to the wire competition. Head to wingding.tv or the free Wingding app. Traveling Golfer was busy this month. Their segment highlighting River's Edge and Arnie's Revenge, the famous ninth hole there in Shalot, is now airing on Wingding TV and also on NBC Sports. Traveling Golfer isn't done though. Coming up in the middle of the month, you will see the Traveling Golfer's version of At The Turn, showing you some of the best dishes to enjoy at golf courses on the Myrtle Beach Golf Trail. Now, one of them is the Pearl in Calabash, North Carolina. Now, I was able to join producer Dustin Gilder and marketing sales expert A.J. Gohill and the Pearl's Trey Ernstus to try some of the Pearl's incredible Carolina barbecue. Another sign of the boom on the Myrtle Beach Golf Trail, Trey says the Pearl Clubhouse will be going through some renovations this summer, but he says it will not affect the golf. Uh, we're hoping to get some going sooner than later, but then uh, a lot of the majority of the stuff will probably happen late fall, or I mean, uh, late summer, early fall. Okay, so, but folks can still come out even though you're gonna have the renovations, right? Yep, yep, we'll be doing it around everybody's, uh, everybody playing and still making an enjoyable experience for everybody to come out and see what we got going on. Back in Shalote, North Carolina, Smoked, one of the hottest new restaurants that we profiled here on The Buzz, will be celebrating its one-year anniversary. They will have live music on Friday and Saturday night on Main Street in Shalote. In addition, the owner group will be releasing its plans for its new venue called the Poor House, as in pour me a drink. It will fill the venue left open by Red Hair Brewery. For more details, go to this website, smokedshalote.com. And... Undercover Jet Setter did some spy work in North Myrtle Beach at Rio's Brazilian Steakhouse. We were able to decipher their happy hour, which was delicious, plentiful, and very reasonable. For more information, go to rios.com, R-I-O-Z.com, and you can catch the full segment on wingding.tv. That's this edition of the Carolina Buzz Daily Digest. You have some Carolina Buzz to share, drop us an email. Or if you'd like to be profiled on the main show of Carolina Buzz, call us at this number or check us out over on wingding.tv. I'm John Daly, see you next time.